Okay, so <laughs> since Anne's had a morning and it's hot in, it's hot in Connecticut, <laughs> sit down in your chair and just get super comfy cozy. Like don't even bring any effort to it at all. Just sit back, relax, close your eyes down. <sighs> Take a nice big breath and just let your body settle in. Take a couple of nice gentle breaths. No need to effort, no need to force your breath. And then once you feel like your body has settled in just a little bit, you've worked out all your little wiggles, <clears throat> tune in down to the bottoms of your feet and just feel the floor underneath your feet. Get a sense of that nice solidness of the floor. If there's rug or bare wood or whatever is underneath your foot, maybe just notice the texture of the material underneath your feet. And then let your awareness travel up to the chair underneath your bum and underneath your thighs. And just notice that nice solidness of your chair. And then if you can get a sense of the texture of the material of the surface of your chair. And then let your awareness come up to the upper back part of your body and just notice where your back is leaning into the chair. And if it needs it, give it a little wiggle, a little snuggle in, just let it get a little bit extra comfortable. And then just start to notice your breath connected to the back of your chair. So that slight and subtle change as you breathe in, breathe out. And then just for a moment, see if you can shift your focus away from the breath to from the back side of the body and just start to get, tune in and notice the full front side of your body, just that open space, maybe noticing the cool air on your skin or the warm air, depending. And then maybe allow your awareness to move away from you and your physical body and start to just <clears throat> get a sense of the room that you're working in. Notice the sounds around you. Get a sense or a feeling of where the walls are, the ceiling, the floor, the doors. And then offer up a little gratitude for the safe space that you have to work in. And then bring your focus and awareness back to your physical body and just start to listen into the sound of your breath, breathing in through your nose and out through your nose if you can. And then think about giving your fingers a little wiggle, give your toes a little wiggle, start to gently move into the outer edges of your body. <clears throat> And then maybe move your ankles, maybe move your wrists. And then we're gonna to start to sit up. So start to lift your back away from your chair, and just come into a taller position. But instead of efforting and finding that big lift up through the crown of your head, kind of find a softness or a sense of steadiness here. So you're upright and you're lifted, but there's also a softness about it. And see if you can find that soften your shoulders, let your arms be just a little bit soft. Eyes still closed if that feels comfortable and then tune back into your breath. Take a nice deep breath in and a nice slow breath out. Two more breaths here, just paying attention to your inhale and watching your exhale.
Nice. And then before we move away from this place, set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice, never doing anything that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. And then with that intention set, gently open your eyes and right away we'll move with the breath. As you inhale, lift your chin up to the sky. And as you exhale, tuck your chin down to your chest. Inhale and lift your chin up. Exhale, tuck your chin down. One more like that. Inhale to lift your chin up. Exhale to tuck your chin down. And then bring your head to neutral and we're gonna inhale, lift the toes and the balls of the feet up. And then exhale, let the toes and the balls of the feet float down. <clears throat> inhale and lift the toes and the balls of the feet up. Exhale and let them float down. One more like that, inhale and lift up. And exhale, float down. And now we're gonna put the feet and the head together. So as you inhale, lift your toes and the balls of the feet, lift your chin. As you exhale, float your feet down, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lift your chin, lift your toes and the balls of the feet. Exhale, float the toes down, tuck chin to chest. And one more just like that. Inhale, lifting the chin, lifting the toes and the balls of the feet. Exhale, feet float down, tuck chin into chest. Keep your chin tucked into your chest and just take a couple little figure eights here, just rolling side to side, smoothing out the back of your neck and just noticing, noticing how the back of your neck's feeling your shoulders, and then notice if you're picking up any tension in your jaw as you start to loosen up your neck. Nice, take one more little rock side to side, and then bring your head back up to a more neutral position. Scoot your bum forward in your seat, so you have plenty of room to move, but you wanna make sure the seat feels nice and comfortable underneath you, and then catch hold of your knees, move right into your cat-cow breath. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your chin, arch your back. Exhale, round your back. And then see if you can find a kind of softness with this maneuver. So rather than taking it big and really stretching through the shoulders and a big arch of the back, see if you can make it a little softer. So gently lift the heart, gently lift the chin, gently around the back, maybe take it less to your edge than you normally go. Just allow for the muscles and the bones to move gently with you. Nice, and then the next time you inhale and lift your chest and chin, stay there for just a second. And then just notice, notice that gentle stretch through the front of the body, a little opening in the chest, a little stretch through the neck and the throat. Take one more breath. Inhale, and then as you exhale, round your back, but gently tuck your chin into your chest, stay there for a second and then notice. Notice your low back, <clears throat> notice your middle back, notice your shoulders. See if you can take a nice big inhale and just notice the space between your shoulder blades. Awesome, and then on your next inhale, just find your way up to a nice tall posture. Left hand's gonna touch down, right hand's gonna reach up. Take a nice gentle side bend. Keep it small, light, and gentle, just to the point where you feel a little length and stretch through the side, and then stay there for a second. Turn your head, look up to the sky, take a nice big breath. Awesome, and then float that hand down and take it to the other side. Arms gonna reach up, lean over just slightly, just to the point where you feel sensation in the side of the body. Pull the thumb back slightly, turn your head, maybe look up and then just find your breath here. Nice, and then when you're ready, lower it down. We're gonna scooch our bums forward in our seat. So find that front or edge of your seat and then step your feet <clears throat> so knees are super bent, but there's a wider stance and then just start to lean yourself forward just a little bit and then come right back up and then make sure the chair feels comfortable under your butt. Lean forward just a little bit and then come back up. And now we're going to lean forward to your edge and you're just going to get a little bit of a rounding in the spine. So let's let your fingers float down. Let your back be heavy and soft. Let your head relax. Back of the neck is gummy. Soften your jaw. And then see if you can tune in here to your compression of your belly against your thigh. So as you breathe in and out, can you feel that just little bit of gentle compression? Just notice how that feels. Awesome, take one more breath. 
Nice. And then when you're ready, come up nice and slow and mindful. <clears throat> From here, we're going to step, step our feet to the left. So you're going to step both feet off to the left so that we have a nice little side seat. And then we're going to rotate even further. So you're going to rotate. Both hands are going to find the back of the chair. But we're going to let our hands do the handhold so that you don't have to effort too much in that twist. So once you've got that handhold, think about softening the ribs, softening your side body, and then tuning back into your breath. Take one more breath. Awesome, and then we're gonna rotate back so that we're facing the knees and then scoot your butt forward towards the side edge of your chair. We're gonna come into a warrior one position here. So we're gonna step the right leg out <clears throat> and then see if you can just adjust your hips so that you can start to rotate and slide your left leg back. And now we wanna find our hips trying to rotate towards that front knee. And if it doesn't make it perfectly, don't worry about that. We just want a little lunge here, feeling a little length through the front of the hip flexor. And then if all of that feels good, reach your arms up. So it, with the heel lifted in some traditions, that is a crescent lunge, but in Kripalu tradition, the heel lifted is a warrior one. But if you want that more traditional shape with the heel down, Take your adventure, whichever way suits you best. Reach your arms up, look to the sky, take a nice big breath. Nice, and then when you're ready, float your hands down. You're gonna soften that back knee, slide it all on up and in, scoot your bum to the front edge of your chair, take a couple of windshield wipers with your knees. Lovely, and then when you're ready, you're gonna step, step it to the other side. So both feet are gonna step to the side. Take a second to get that arranged and then turn towards the back of your chair. With your handhold, start to allow the side body to soften. So then you can just notice your breath here without efforting too much in your twist. Take one more breath. Awesome, and then when you're ready, unwind, rotate, and then stepping that front foot out, <clears throat> and then rearrange yourself so that you can slide that leg back and find that lunging position. So just rearrange so that the chair feels comfortable underneath you. And then again, heel can be down or heel can be lifted. With the heel lifted, you might find a little bit more sensation through the front of the hip. And with the heel down, you might have to just find a little bit extra rotation in your hips. So you're gonna find which one feels better. And then once you've got it, raise your arms up and look up. Take one more breath. Awesome, and then float your hands down, soften that back leg, scooch everything back around to the front side of your chair, give your knees a little windshield wiper action. <clears throat> cool, and then we're gonna pick up the left knee. You're just gonna get a single hand hold, swing it out just a little bit, bring it in just a little bit. So it's a little bit higher up, and we're just finding a little external rotation in the hip socket. Nice, and then the next time it comes out, take it out, stay out, lift it just a little bit higher up and then lower it down just a little bit. Lift it up towards the shoulder, lower it just a little bit. One more just like that, lift it up, lower it down, stay there and then just twirl your foot in circles, go in one direction. <clears throat> and then twirl your foot in circles, go the other way. Beautiful, and then bring it back in, set that foot down, and we're gonna take it to the other side. So we're gonna catch hold of that knee, lift it up, and then we're gonna swing it out and bring it in. Take it out and bring it in. Nice, three more just like that. Move it at your pace, tune in, notice how your hip feels. Beautiful, and then on this next one, stay out there, and then we're gonna lift it up slightly towards the shoulder and then lower it down a little bit. And then two more just like that. Nice, and then hold it in that more neutral position, twirl your foot in circles, go in one direction. And then twirl your foot in circles, go the other way. 
Beautiful. And then bring it back in, set that foot down. And we're going to start a little, little temper tantrum with our feet. So we're going to really stomp the ground. So if you've got neighbors underneath you, maybe go just a little bit lighter if you don't want to disturb them. But if it feels okay, really put a little oomph into it. Stimulate the bottoms of the feet. Make sure everything feels safe and comfortable to your feet. Take it up into the toes, into the balls of the feet, to the heels, to the blade edges of the feet, turn it in, find your insteps, and then just move it all around any which way that feels good. And then once you feel like you've kind of got it all worked out, let it all soften. Close your eyes just for a second. Take a nice big breath in. Nice slow breath out. Awesome. And then from here, we're going to make soft little fists. So think about curling your fingers and your thumbs in. So you have this little semi open palm little fist. <laughs> fist. <laughs> and then we're just going to take that open fist and just start to tap. So a light tap down the thighs, down the calves, across the tops of the feet, up the insides, tap the insides of the legs, come to your belly, give a couple of little taps around, and then right back down, down the outsides of the legs down the calves, across the tops of the feet, up the inside, and then come to your belly, give your belly a little pat, pat around. Nice, one more just like that, tap down, across the tops of the feet, up the inside, come to your belly, give it a little pat, pat around. <clears throat> nice, and now we're gonna make fists with our thumbs and take your thumbs right alongside your belly button. So find that soft tissue, and then we're gonna start to fold over. So you're gonna go slow and mindful, you're gonna let your fists press into the soft tissue of your belly, let your belly be as soft as you can make it, and then lean forward just a little bit, just to tune in. We're not gonna go super far yet, and just notice how this feels. Take a nice big breath in, noticing the compression of your fists against your stomach. And then just make sure that feels like a safe maneuver. So if you've got anything going on, if you've got a hernia, if you've got IBS, any of that kind of such, you're going to stay super, super light. You're not even going to fold over anymore. You're maybe just going to press your thumbs into your belly. But if all of it's feeling good, lean in just a little bit more. Take one more breath. Awesome. And then gently lift up, release your thumbs, grab hold of the back of your left leg, lift that leg up, draw the knee in circles, go in one direction. Draw your knee in circles, go the other way. Cool, and then we're gonna re-grab. So grab your knee, grab your heel, rock that leg just a little bit like a baby, and then right into your figure four. So bring that leg across, press the knee open, get nice and tall for a second, and then soften that up a little bit and lean yourself forward. And allow your body to kind of round over your thighs. So rather than that big long spine and the efforting, See if you can just find a softness here, not going to the extreme, allowing your knee to get heavy, finding sensation in the outside of your hip and softening back into your breath. Take one more breath. And then come up nice and slow, grab your heel, grab your knee, gently lift it off, set it down. <clears throat> and then we're gonna take hold of the other leg, pick it up, draw some circles, go in one direction. And then draw some circles, go the other way. Nice, and then we're gonna switch our hand hold. So we're gonna hold the knee, hold the heel, rock it a little side to side. Beautiful, and then take it into your figure four shape. Press the knee open, get tall for a second. And then soften all of that up, fold yourself over, but find a soft roundness in your shape here. So allow for a softness in your feet, allow for a softness in your knees, softness in the upper back body, just a sense of letting go here. We'll take one more breath. And then when you're ready, start to come up nice and slow. Gently help that leg come off, set it down. And now we're gonna do a little seated hokey pokey. So we're gonna pick up the right leg and we're just gonna give it a good vigorous shake. Just scoot your butt to the front end of your chair so it feels like a safe maneuver and there's not corners of your chair digging into your butt. So make sure it feels okay. And then give it a really nice 
vigorous shake, get, get it all out of your body. <laughs> so just like dogs do or animals do when they have something happen, they either run or they shake it all out when they're done and then they just let it leave it all there on the floor. So give that leg one last good shake and then set it down for a second and notice how one leg feels a little different than the other. Nice, and then pick up the other leg and really shake it out. Give it a good vigorous shaking. Just make sure the chair is comfortable underneath you and your knees and your ankle feel okay. <clears throat> awesome, take one more good shake of the leg and then set it down and just take a second to notice. Beautiful, and now we're gonna take it into the right arm and you're gonna give that right arm a good vigorous shake. Make sure your wrist feels okay, fingers feel good. Notice that little vibration. Get that high Helen shaking. <laughs> Give it one more good shake and then set it down. Notice how one arm feels a little different than the other. Great, and then take it to the other side and give that arm a really good and vigorous shake. Let it all out. Let your high Helens fly. <laughs> and then once you feel like that arm is good and shaken out, float it down. Roll your shoulders around, down and back, and just take a couple of good juicy rolls of the shoulders just to kind of soothe out the space between the shoulder blades. Nice, take one more good roll here, and then we're gonna give ourselves a hug. So left arm's gonna come on top of the right, catch your shoulders, pull your shoulders down, pull your abdominal muscles in, round over, tuck your chin into your chest, and then just breathe into the backside of your body. Notice the space between your shoulder blades. Take one more breath. Awesome, then gently lift up, open your arms nice and wide, open your chest, lift your chin, and then the other arm's gonna come on top. Right hand's gonna come on top, catch your shoulders, pull the shoulders down, pull your abdominal muscles in, round over, tuck your chin into your chest, and then tune back into the backside of your body. Take one more breath. Awesome, and then on your next inhale, lift up, open the arms wide, open the chest, lift your chin. And then from here, we're gonna take our hands, and we're gonna kind of slip them right in between our inner thighs and then start to put a little press. So arms are pressing out, knees are pressing in. We're gonna create a little bit of resistance. Keep that resistance going. And you're gonna reach your fingertips down towards the ground, but knees are pressing in. Arms are pressing out, so we're finding a little work in the back of the shoulders, work in the outer edges of the thighs. Hang out there for one more breath. Nice, and then keep that resistance going. Lift yourself back up. Beautiful, and then soften your, soften your arms, soften your knees, come back to those fists, bring the thumbs right alongside the belly button, walk your feet just a little bit closer so you're able to find a nice bit of compression. And this time you're gonna go as far as feels comfortable. So you're gonna put a little press in, you're gonna lean yourself over, finding nice little folded position, inviting some softness into the belly tissue. And then you're gonna just tune into the breath here for a moment and see where you can allow it to soften. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, come up nice and slow. We're gonna soften our hands into little flat palms and just give the belly a little gentle rub, soothe it out. <clears throat> nice, and then once you feel like the belly's nice and soothed, just start to walk yourself back in your seat, just a little bit. So you have the seat underneath you nice and firm. And then we're just gonna take a little tick-tock of the head side to side, just to release any extra tension that might be holding on in the neck and down into the shoulders. One more tick tock of the head side to side. And then as you bring it back to center, we're gonna practice our sitali breath or it's our cooling breath. So if you can make a taco tongue, that little curl of the tongue or a little U tongue, you're gonna make that tongue. Not everybody can do that, just genetically speaking, that doesn't work for everybody's tongue. So if that doesn't work for your tongue, then you're just gonna make a little O shape with your mouth and keep your tongue kind of close to that O shape. And then we're just gonna breathe in and out through the mouth and just feel that cool sensation. So make that taco tongue or just bring the tongue close to your O shaped mouth. Breathe in. 
and out. Take one more breath. <laughs> nice, and then let your taco tongue soften, let your jaw soften, close your eyes down just for a moment. Notice how your body feels. And then with your eyes closed, if you can, just start to walk yourself back into your seat and let everything soften and settle in. So no need to look like anything in particular, no need to effort in this position. Just find a softness in your chair, <clears throat> arms wherever they feel the most comfortable, feet wherever they feel the most comfortable, eyes closed if that feels like a safe way to go. And then once you feel like your body has settled in, tune back in down to the bottoms of your feet. Notice the floor beneath you. Allow for your feet to get just a little heavier. And then let your awareness travel up to the seat underneath your thighs. Notice the strong support of your chair and then allow your thighs to get soft and heavy here. And then allow your awareness to travel up to the chair behind your back. And then see if you can just let your back settle in just a little further, get a little heavier, let your belly be soft, no need to effort, no need to hold the tummy in, let everything be loose. Shoulders are soft, arms are heavy. Start to bring your awareness back into your body. Give your toes a little wiggle. Gently move your fingers. Maybe move your ankles. Maybe move your wrists. And then if it feels really good, take a good morning stretch in your chair. Stretch your legs long. Reach your arms up and overhead. Look to the sky. Take a nice big breath in. Awesome, and then float your feet down, float your arms down, lift your back away from your seat, and then just walk yourself forward in your chair. We're gonna finish with a forward fold. So we're gonna come into a standing position. So step your feet in and just for a second, feel the muscles that help you get up and out of the chair, get them engaged. And then once you feel like you notice them, you found them, lift yourself gently up and away from your chair. And then just take a couple little circles of your hips, loosen that all up. Let your, let your bum cool off from sitting in that chair and then circle the other way. Nice, and then step your feet to a nice comfortable position. So think maybe shoulder width distance. So you have plenty of space. Inhale, raise your arms up and look up. 
And then as you exhale, just a softness in the knees, a softness at your waist, fold yourself over and then just come to a depth that feels good. So you might let your hands rest on your thighs or you might let them rest all the way down towards the ground. And then see if you can just let your head be heavy here for a moment. Big generous bend in the backs of the legs so you're not yanking against the hamstrings. Take a nice big inhale. Nice slow exhale. Bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in. Come up nice and slow. Take a couple of little shrugs of the shoulders just to loosen it all up. And then bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. Close your eyes down. Tune back into your breath for a moment here. Take a nice big inhale. Nice slow exhale. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and the time you take to take care of yourself. Breathe in a little extra love and gratitude for your friends, for your family, for your pets. And then a whole bunch of extra love and gratitude for the people that it's hardest to find that love and gratitude for. And gently lift up to the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy, happy Wednesday.